Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hallelujah. Can we clap hands for Zambia? Let's clap hands for Zambia, the Zambian people. Can we clap hands? Can we clap hands? Intercessors that are here. And the prayer warriors that are here. I've got a word for the nation of Zambia and the Zambian president, which I was given by the Lord uh, from Isaiah 41. We are going to read, but I want to tell you the vision that I saw. Now, what I saw is this. When I was praying, was these days I'm just praying for Africa. And when I was praying for Zambia, the Lord showed me the president of Zambia, the current one. Uh, I think they call him HH, uh, the one that is there. So he was standing inside Zambia. But it was in Lusaka, in the capital city, and by a, their parliament, by a parliament somewhere there, some government offices, when I looked at them, uh, as he was standing there, uh, he had about five people that he was standing with who were behind him. What happened was a bowel was given to him, and it was a golden bowel. And inside that bowel, there were four hard stones, four stones that were inside. And then he was given a threshing sledge. That one, that is teeth. I don't know if you know what is called a threshing sledge. Uh, the ones that in the old times they used to, to thrash hard stones like diamond or so, something very hard. So they were, uh, so he was given that Threshing, uh, threshing stone, it was a threshing sledge that was in his hand. And he started grinding the four stones that were inside that golden bowel, and they became powder. And when they became powder like that, a wind came and blew that powder. It was just like in a wind, a very strong wind that came and blew because he had grinded those stones into chaff, into a powder like uh, substance, which was like flour. But they were very hard stones. So I, I didn't understand how, with a hand, an ordinary hand, the president of Zambia was able to grind those hard stones because they need a stamp mill like those stamp mills that you find on mines on gold mines there when they are extracting gold from stones you know those big hammers the stamp mills that crush stones because that was how hard the stones were but he was able to crush the stones with his hand with his or using that uh, threshing uh, sledge instrument that was in his hand and the wind came and blew it away when when the the powder went on the ground of zambia rain came it was a very heavy rain that came and then the land of zambia produced the green grass it was green grass that and the trees the fruit trees of different kinds and then i started seeing the people of zambia picking those fruit trees but now to my surprise when i then looked the trees that were there when i counted there were there were 23 types 23 trees that were there 23 when i counted there were 23 types of trees in that vision and then the lord said to me this which you are seeing is events that are going to happen in 2023 but it's beginning end of this year the lord said i'm going to give anointing to the president of zambia i have poured an oil upon him and he's going to crush the four areas that have been holding zambia for a very long time there are four areas 
and there is a lot of corruption in those four areas in Zambia that is there so God was saying I'm giving him eyes to open his eyes to crush those stony areas of Zambia because Zambia has had good presidents long from from uh, time back but they have not managed to to crush those areas so the lord said i'm going to use this man zambia is going to see some some significant breakthroughs in those four areas and uh, he is being anointed by god to crush those hard areas to remove corruption from zambia and also to bring some significant tangible breakthroughs and the zambian people are going to be fruitful and the economy of zambia in 2023 you are going to start to see significant changes towards fruitfulness it's gonna be um a, a country that will be very progressive in a serious way starting 2023 and um, i saw a lot of people now crossing into zambia from other nations also to go and eat those 23 fruits so it was like people were now going to zambia many people looking for jobs there and the economy of zambia was beginning to show signs of real development from where they are today real development that is really tangible though it was not very fast but it was significant it was very significant that they could touch that uh, in this area there is now progress in this area there is now progress and the lord said they must also pray for their president because the lord god is going to make him to see areas he has already opened his eyes to see certain areas that were causing stagnation to zambia that were causing degradation and regression to zambia so that it does not really progress the way it is supposed to progress so god gave me isaiah 41 let's go there for zambia isaiah 41 verse 11 he said you must pray verse 11 up to 20 it says behold all those who were incensed against you this was the word to the president of zambia shall be ashamed and disgraced they shall be as nothing those who are striving with you if they are not careful they will perish so on their own you shall seek them and not find them those who contend with you those who are against you shall be nothing and is non-existent thing for i the lord your god who hold your right hand saying to you fear not i will help you the lord said i'm helping this man he must not be afraid there were some people who were incensed against him contending quietly underground behind the scenes trying to stop his progress in during his presidency but god is saying i'm now holding him by his right hand and he must fear not because i'm going to help him and the lord said uh, i will help you now verse 15 can you see this is what shocked me when god gave me and the lord said behold i will make you the president of zambia into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff the same way i saw him crushing those stones god is saying you will thresh mountains beat them small and they will be like chaff and you shall winnow them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and you shall rejoice in the lord and glory 
in the holy one of Israel, the poor and the needy seek water in Zambia, but there is none. Their tongues fell for thirst. I, the Lord, has heard them, and I, God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in desolate heights and fountains in the midst of valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land uh, springs of and the dry land shall spring uh, shall have springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness of Zambia the cedar, the acacia tree, the myrtle, and the olive tree. And I will set in the desert the cypress tree and the pine and the box tree together, and they that they may that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the lord has done this thing the holy one of israel he has created it so this are this is the scripture that the people of zambia confirming what god showed me must pray for concerning 2023 so 2023 god wants it to be a fruitful year for the zambian people to be a blessed year for the zambian people and god is now ready to capture corruption there was too much corruption in zambia and god is going to use this man he is making him to be a new threshing sledge uh, with sharp teeth a new instrument and now uh, he's gonna be very very much aware of many things that were being done underground and they are going to be exposed and is gonna deal with them and zambia shall start to have a currency that is very strong and which shall compete with even south africa and other nations uh, in a serious way so there is rain uh, coming to zambia blessing and i saw investors i saw investors coming many people coming even the flights that will be coming into zambia are going to increase they are going to see new airlines coming into their nation because the zambian people will be very well resourced to an extent they will be able to fly to wherever they want to to, to fly there will be fruitfulness but it needs prayer it needs prayer zambian people can we clap hands for the people of zambia so this is a powerful year 2023 but it's starting end of this year so once zambians see 2023 they must pray and fast a lot because it is a good year for them and god wants to do great and mighty things can we shout amen let's clap hands for the lord all right that's all for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of Mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go